if you're averaging for them three dollars a mile on the twenty five hundred to three thousand, if you're finding them loads on average at three dollars a mile for your carrier, whether they're a drive-in, flatbed, or a reefer carrier, then how much are you grossing them a week? Seventy five hundred to nine thousand. Right, mm -hmm. three dollars times twenty five hundred is seventy five hundred. Mm -hmm. Three dollars a mile times three thousand mm -hmm. miles is nine thousand. And then, so with that being said, so we're just looking at numbers now, right? So you're grossing them that. Of course, they haven't done their taxes or did their expenses. Right. But um, and let's say you're charging. If you're good enough to do that and keep them running over the road at twenty five hundred to three thousand miles a week at three thousand miles, that means you're a pretty good dispatch. Mm -hmm. So that means that warrants you to be able to charge ten percent. Correct. Okay, so then ten percent. That means that you seven fifty to nine hundred a week mm -hmm. per carrier. Per carrier. Because that's just one carrier. Mm -hmm. so now I, again, the question becomes again: How many carriers can you handle and give them the officially do the same thing for mm -hmm. the first carrier, second carrier? You keep, let's say, four or five. The fifth carrier, you want to run the same way you did the first one. Mm -hmm. If you get to a point where you can no longer do that, then it's time to scale and add a sub-dispatcher to your company because mm -hmm. you want to provide the same level of service to the fourth carrier mm -hmm. as you do to the first. Mm 